Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Raiva. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you are returning and you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Make sure you subscribe, make sure you turn your post notification on, and you know, like this video, give me a thumbs up, and as per usual, if you do have any questions for me, do not hesitate to leave me down a comment. I usually do respond within 24 hours, so I'm kind of on top of that. So as you guys can tell from the title of the video, I am going to be doing a get to know me tag. I've noticed that my channel is slowly but truly growing. You know, I'm kind of growing at a turtle's pace, but regardless, I'm growing and I'm getting there. So I thought this would be the perfect time for me to kind of introduce myself to you guys. And that way you guys can kind of, you know, have a brief idea of who I am. For those of you that already know, I am a medical laboratory technician, but obviously I'm a lot more than just a medical laboratory technician. Today's video is going to be a little bit different than my previous two videos. In my last two videos, I was sharing with you guys my experiences at placement. Keep in mind, I am still in placement and will still be sharing my experiences with you guys, but I thought basically that I would combine week three and four together and share it with you guys in next week's video. So that's what I'm gonna do. But today's video, you guys are gonna get to know me a little bit better. So let's get right into it. So first and foremost, if you guys consistently see me looking down, that's because I have my computer in front of me and that's where I'm reading the questions off of. So let's get right into it. Question number one is what is your full name? My first name, as you guys know, is Raida. My last name is Ahmed, but a lot of you guys won't be able to pronounce it. It is an Arabic last name, so you guys can just say Ahmed, just like the majority of people out there. Question number two is what does your name mean? So Raida actually means leader, someone who's like a pioneer, someone who's kind of ahead of their time. Okay, question number three is, are you named after anyone? I'm actually not named after anyone in my family. And for some reason, Raida is not really a common name in my community. So my grandma just decided to name me Raida for whatever reason, God knows. But yeah, that, that was pretty much it. So question number four is, where are you from? I am from Africa. My father's Ethiopian, my mom is Somali, so I'm basically East African. And yeah, that's pretty much where I'm from. Number five is where were you born? I was actually born back home in Somalia, but I came here when I was really, really young. Okay, so question number seven, I guess, or six. I, I'm just gonna stop saying the number. At this point, I'm getting confused because there are some questions that I'm skipping. Um, I just don't, don't like the question. I just feel like, you know what I'm saying? It's not conducive to who I am. I'm just joking. I'm just gonna start skipping some of these questions. So now I'm getting kind of lost in terms of like what number I am on the list of questions. But this question is, what are your favorite things about yourself? I think my favorite thing about myself is that I'm extremely, extremely compassionate to other people. I am a natural empath. So it's easy for me to kind of relate to other people. And it's also kind of easy for me to like feel other people's pain or happiness, whatever they're going through which also can be a problem for me at times because I kind of tend to feel a little too much. But yeah, for the most part, I think me being an empath would be my favorite thing about myself. Which of your parents are you closest to? I would have to say my mom. I am super duper close to my mom. Are your grandparents still married? Unfortunately, my grandparents are not all alive. I only have a one grandmother alive and I love her to the universe. And ah, you know, you just have that connection with your grandparents. What do you call your grandparents? Ah, yeah, yo, okay? I am Somali, I speak my mother's tongue fluently. So yes, I call my grandma a yeah, yo, or yeah, yo. What is your biggest accom accomplishment? My biggest accomplishment would be finishing school, just school in general, because this is technically the second program that I'm doing, like the first program that I did um, was ECE. Um, I am a first generation student, so it's, it's an, it was an accomplishment for me as well as for my parents and my family members. What is your biggest fear? Okay, so this question, my biggest fear is fear itself. So I know that fear exists, but my fear is that I'm gonna let fear get in the way of things. Like it's gonna stop me from like, you know, taking adventures or taking risks. That's what really scares me. It's not that, I know fear is real and it's there, everyone has it but it's getting to a point where fear is gonna stop me from like moving forward 
or doing anything in life. That is scary itself. What inspires you? I get inspiration literally from anywhere. It could be like a YouTube channel. It could be leaders like Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, Oprah, strong-minded individuals. Anybody that I can learn from who gives me information are people that inspire me. Like, okay, what is the most important thing in your life? The most important thing in my life, which is a lot of things that people take for granted, and for me, it's my health. I think health is wealth. And if you have that, to me, you have everything. So there's people out there that have everything but don't have their health, and it's like, you know, you're living, but you know, you're struggling. Who is your favorite actor? My favorite actor has always been, will always be, Morris Chestnut. And my favorite actress is Viola Davis. I love her, okay? I'm a fan of How to Get Away with Murder. I love, 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 love her. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is purple. I love purple and I also like black, but I love purple, okay? That's one of my favorite colors. What is your favorite music genre? So my favorite music genre would have to be R&B, but I'm talking about old school R&B, you know, R&B and soul, you know, old school. What is the name of your favorite restaurant? And my favorite restaurant is a restaurant beside my house called Bailey's. It's Hakka Chinese and it's my favorite type of food ever. Love it, love it. Can't get enough of it. Addicted. Are you high maintenance? Um, no, I'm not high maintenance at all. I'm pretty, I'm actually pretty simple, very down to earth, very, very like low maintenance, but you know, we still need maintaining. Are you more likely to avoid conflict or engage it head on? I would avoid conflict. Honestly, I would. I don't, I don't like getting into arguments because I know how I am. Once the argument gets cracking and it gets popping, I am very hostile and like, I will, I'll be in your face like, but I won't initiate it. I'm not an initiator. But uh, once I get triggered and I'm at that point, like I, I'm not backing down. Till my wheels fall off. Can you do the split? Absolutely not. Can you tuck your nose with your tongue? Nope. Can you whistle? Yes, I can actually whistle. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's my little challenge. I can whistle. You don't know sign. That's it for today's video, you guys. I hope you guys learned a little something, something about me. And, you know, if you have any questions, leave me a comment. I will see you guys in my next week's video where I am going to be sharing with you guys my third week and my fourth week of experience at placement because this week I was supposed to share my third week of experience with you guys, but I didn't. I kind of held that off so that I can combine the three and four together in one video. And that will be next week's. Sunday. I will see you guys in my next week's video. Until then, bye.